Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my high score run on a hollowed layer using the Warlock. I'm going to be using Voidwalker, top two of the subclass, the uh, Achievement of Chaos, the Slover. We've obviously got Skullard, Diorama, Karom. Perfect Paradox in my primary. Uh, Lemon Arc in my energy and 21% Delirium in my heavy. We're running with only a 3 times multiplier. I'll explain that as we're going. We've got Void Singe, Heavyweight, Momentum and Extinguish. So for anybody that's regular to these videos, you'll understand we don't have match game on. And that's to give us more of an attacking option. We can be just a little bit more aggressive within this strike because we don't have to match shields now. The payoff is though, we've lost 0.7 score multiplier, which is going to make this tight. Uh, as you can see, I rallied a flag. I actually started the nightfall. It's a little trick for this one. You can start the nightfall when you see a public event within the the tangle chore right right at this part and you can rally the flag when you get in and start the start the super with uh start the nightfall with the super as you can see there i charged up the grenade i'm using axiom bolt i charged it up because those those ads because we've got it in void which is a little bit dangerous because there's a bit of void uh it, it will do massive damage to the ads it will seek them out as well so it took the the arc kind of the arc the void heavy hitters took them straight away and gave us almost 4,000 points for nothing. We were just running past anyway. So we run past all of this because sometimes I'll take these ads, but we're running past it because we've only got a three times score multiplier. And, you know, it, time can be tight with this one. You know, it really can be. So we knew I knew I wasn't going to score tons of points, but I didn't expect it to be as tight as what it turned out. Now, we're using the 21% Delirium. As most of you people will know, or you fine guys and girls of YouTube, that is the weapon you get from the Gambit Triumph for going in and doing the multi-kills and the, the killing the emissaries. They're not called emissaries, are they? The envoys. That's what they're called. Idiot. And we set in your infamy. I forget what the triumph is called. It's on the first page. I remember it's on the first page of the Gambit Triumph page. And it's on top right. So you get the 21% Delirium. It has a perk called Killing Tally. Now as you can see, it's also got Overflow. So when you reload it, depending on how many kills you've had with it, depends on how it reloads. And it, it does that if you pick up Heavy, it'll reload it straight into the, the mag. So as you can see, what we've done is we've cleared out this area as fast as possible, and then we've activated the plate. When you activate the plate, because we've got Nova and we had it charged, I Nova the elite, the 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 solar shielded scorn captain straight away, and it took out a few other of the ads as well. So we're just gonna we're just gonna use what you want at this point. The reason why I'm using some some heavy and i know there'll be people there saying oh mondo you say never use heavy or to change weapons well this weapon actually thrives the more kills you get it really does because killing tally gives you a times multiplier as you can see we've got killing tally times three that will stay in place unless we reload or we put the weapon away we are going to do neither because we want killing tally times three for when we attack for when we attack the 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 walker and as you can see we've got heavy and we're going to run over it one brick will give us full so we're killing kill tally times three what we're going to do is we're going to drop this tank and then as soon as the tank goes down we're going to jump up and we're going to go and collect that other brick and that will give us the 205 rounds to attack the tank with now what we're going to do is but you'll probably i don't know if it will show off very well here yep there we go Back away to the edge of the bubble. Because it's not the first time I've took this tank down. And then that explosion has killed me. So we'll get my health back. Now it done this little glitch. And it is a little glitch. It's a little problem within the strike. We've took it down. And we've ran. But it's not going to open up the next part of the strike. For some reason. Even though it's telling us to go this way. And investigate the, the fanatics re-emergence. We've got no ads here. So I charged my grenade. If you... If you ever charge your grenade and you, you're like, oh, I can't throw that just yet, change weapon and it will cancel the charged grenade. As you can see, we came back, locked that area out and it's going to open up the next area. Charging the grenade, it does more damage. So I'll put one, one, 
one boat on and then I'll throw the grenade and as you can see we've done quite a bit of damage. The Le Monarch, I chose it because we've got Void Burn and obviously it does that shared explosion if you get a headshot. Although I'm not too sure. I'm actually really out of practice using bows. Really out of practice. Normally I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm pretty good with bows. Uh, but I was out of practice here. So, this section now, you're looking at the heavy. We've got 273. We know we're going to have a couple of captains here, Ark and Solar. I've now explained about Kill and Tally. And for anybody that remembers any runs I've done here before, and if, you, if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's good to have you. This part is quite important. A, we're void. So these guys are doing void damage. And there's void snipers. You want to get rid of them. As you can see, I'm looking at the same places, left and right. As you can see, that's where you'll find the snipers. Where I'm, where those positions, right there. And then behind the captain, up on like a platform, just above the captain's head is where you'll find the other one. Take them out straight away. Now we're trying to take some ads down, get kill and tally up. As you can see, you melt enemies when you get kill and tally. So, take the rest of the enemies out. I put on a shotgun for the boss room. So that if we get encroached, pushed by ads, we've got a close range weapon. Don't have to keep burning heavy, but we've got something that can do big damage. So, we take the plate. Once you get on the plate, once it starts to go down, you're going to get another wave of ads. Now, what left hand side, you can see, you've got ads appearing, but I charge a grenade. Just keep moving around. Charge a grenade to take out the large group that are spawning in. Once you've, want, just move about on your, on your plate. You know, if you get in trouble, you've got a well, remember that. You can put the well down, and then just once you've once you've uh, activated the plate, if you feel like that you're in a dangerous position, don't try and man up and just you know, I can kill my way out of this. Just back away. Better to be safe than sorry. So you know you know I've got these ads and you've got a couple more captains. We're going to put a rift down just to give ourselves that safety. And as you can see, I'm looking for the snipers. I know the positions they're going to be in. If they could stop just dancing about every time I go to hit them, that would be fantastic. That's the position. Those last two ads that I took out, well, there, there he is there. That's the positions where I took the sniper just to the, just on the right-hand side, and then him. That's the positions that the snipers will be in every time. The, you, you look for them straight away. So the, the next captains come out. We'll just melt him if we can. Get rid of his annoying little solar. Uh, the, the other thing you want to do is, and I say it all the time, and it, it really does come into play with the Delirium, because the Delirium is, is a brilliant heavy, but it's not in the vein of other kind of heavy weapons that you might use. It, it's got loads of ammo, but it's a rapid fire, so you will burn through the ammo. This is my uh, compa <laughs> This is me showing off my competitive strategy, obviously. Jump over ads and shotgun them. Trust me, I don't do that. I don't go into competitive. That's for another video. So we're going to do the exact same thing as we've done in for the last the last uh, plate. Charge, charge the grenade, put it on the, the bulk of ads. And this time, we actually do manage to take out quite a lot of these ads. Now, I would suggest at this point, you can see I'm red, just run around the plate. The plates are big enough that you can run around and get your health back. What's going to happen now is, you've done both plates, you've cleared all the ads, now you're going to get this tank, this ogre that just takes shots like they're nothing. You're going to get him, and you're going to get waves of ads. Now, I did play, as you can see, I did contemplate waiting about to Nova. So we're going to move, and then Nova into the, the direction of the biggest amount of ads. And as you know that Nova will track, I'm going about just collecting collecting orbs we want to take down some enemies so we can get this kill and tally so we've got kill and tally times three and now we'll go after the ogre now he's a little bit further away than i wanted him to be i'm not going to stand and trade with him because he does do a lot of damage we've still got kill and tally times three nova take out as many of the ads and share the damage with the ogre as i say you you will get you will get a fair amount of heavy ammo whilst doing this. You know there is a there is a part after when we get there. 
I'll tell you, because we're probably going to burn most, if not all, of what heavy on this ogre. And that that's that's okay. As you can see, we're trying we are trying to be a little bit more uh, aggressive than, than I normally am. So 102, that's what that is what you will that's what you'll roll with before before the overflow. That is just the basic. And the the cool thing about it is that getting the 200 nodes, you'll get that if if you walk over heavy. Now we're gonna get pushed. Buy some ads, get your killing tally back up, and the killing tallies, I don't know how noticeable it is to you guys, but I could see there how much more damage you'll do with killing tallies. I think it's about 20% it goes to, something like that. On the tank, where I really noticed it was the tank, if you didn't have killing tally on, you were doing about 6,100 per shot. And if you had kill and tally times three on, you were doing 7,300. So there you go. It's, it's about 20%. Now that you've cleared this room, you're going to move forward. You're not going to take out all the ads here. If they'd have been closer, I might have, but I'm, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to waste the time. Because as you can see, we've got 66. We are going to get quite a bit more score before we get to the boss. Another... I don't know, seven, six thousand, seven thousand, very easily. But there's another 30, 40, maybe even 50, depending on how you do it, thousand at the boss. So with these modifiers, and as you can see, we're just going to throw one over down there, let one over finish off all of those ads, as many as it can. We get the six thousand, we also get our super bag. Great thing about the Nova. Uh, there is actually, I think the Nova is the best super in the game. Some people are going to argue that the Arc Strider is. Watch out for this channel. <laughs> Watch out for the video. I said it about the Future of Destiny and then things happened and I had to... I was supposed to do a Future of Destiny video and I didn't stop doing it. It's just other things happened that I was, you know, had to find out about and stuff. But I've got clips for a video that will be out not long after this one talking about the Arc Strider. So when you come in here, you'll run into that kind of Arc Circle to start the fight. And then... Basically, once you get him down to just about his first health bar away, maybe about three quarters of his first health bar, the ads are going to come. I chose this spot. I found it very, very beneficial to me. As you can see, I'm getting hit. I've got my heavy out. I found it very beneficial to come here, use this as cover from the boss, put my rift down, and just plug away. Clear out as many of the ads as, if not all of them, Find out where the boss is. You're in good cover from the boss. And he came to the bottom of the stairs. There he is just behind us. And it's still a good it's still a good position. Now he's gone immune, so I'm going to stop, stop firing at him. Now what we want to do is clear the ads that have built up in the bottom of the room. Because we took a few of them out, there won't be a great amount. There will be one. There he is. There will be one orange bar. And he wants to run away because he's, he's took a headshot. And this is where Nova Bomb, for me the best super for this is Tether. But Nova Bomb sh really did show me that it can compete with Tether in this section. It's uh, very, very satisfying. So we've, we've took out that Elite Raider. We've got our super. The ads are going to spawn in, in force. Nova. And it's just, it's probably the most satisfying part of any strike. Is just having a group of mindless ads that love to get killed just running at you. No skill involved. No skill involved. It's just ridiculous fun. All you do, i, I seen the, the orange bar there and the, this is the last wave. You only get two waves of those ads. i seen the waves. So I'll just run over these guys, get back into some cover. That's why i done it, shotgun. Yep, that was a pretty good shot. I didn't know. I didn't remember I'd done that. Anyway, the boss is going to come back. That now, now his mechanics going to change. Now, as you can see, what I'm doing is it's a perfect place to attack him. He can't shoot me. I can shoot him. And we're going to kind of wait. He'll put the rift up. I wanted my health back before he teleported me. I charged the grenade because you'll take him down, and half of his shield, half of his shield will be arc, and then it'll go so void. 
Now, I could be wrong about that, but even looking back, that's the way it seems to me. What I do is I take, put some shots on them with the heavy before the, the void grenade's ready to go. And now I'm just trying to, I could have just put heavy on them. I could have, uh, sorry, I couldn't have put heavy. I could have put my super on them, but I don't really want to do that. Because I had orbs lying about, but what I'm trying to do with this, guys, and it's the reason why you've not seen a run from me using the Ox Striders. I want my runs to still be useful after, after the fact, you know, after the revelry, after it's gone. So I don't really use the tonic. I haven't used the tonic. You guys are more than welcome to use it. There's no, there's no. Uh, I don't have any opinion on anybody using it. I just want the run to reflect that you don't need it i want the run to be useful and two two three four however many months time that's why i haven't used the oxtrader because although the oxtrader is tons of fun it's not going to be useful very you know once they buff the bug anyway so as you can see what i'm doing at the moment is i'm just running from side to side i never had any heavy that's why i was saying you know, I stupidly said, oh, I could just take them out with heavy, and I noticed I didn't have any heavy, and that's why I was running. We got some heavy, now we're going to put him in. He didn't need much to go into his uh, immune state, so same thing again. Charge the grenade, throw the grenade, break his arc, and then it turns to void, and the grenade does the job. You can get out of there, and you're safe. So remember, charge the grenade first, then put, then take his arc down with the, with the delirium, and once his arc shield's gone down, uh, the grenade should hit him and that'll take his shield down. You won't have, it won't put you right close to him. You know, you don't want to be dragged right up to him because at these kind of modifiers, even though we haven't got a lot of score, you know, we haven't put a really high score on what we have is we've took the, the same power hit. So we don't really want to get dragged right up to him. So that's why I'm trying to limit the amount of time we spend in his tractor beam with breaking the first part of his shield with arc and the second with the grenade so back to the immense fun of throwing supers and just it's just brilliant just watching that it is just the the most fun you can have in a strike i think because it's look all these ads that's just like the like oh it's ridiculous i love it <laughs> it's ridiculous i love it so now we're just going to conserve our, our super uh, for those ads because there just didn't feel like there was enough for me to actually attack with the super. Every t that's the amount, that's the lowest amount of ads I really want to attack here with a super. I don't want it to be that there's five ads and I'm attacking them. So we've got, as you can, as you probably are well aware, what I done there was. Uh, Got the killing tally up. And now we'll attack the boss. Now he's went immune. <clears throat> There's going to be a heap of ads coming in. Unfortunately, I've reloaded. So I've lost killing tally. But what we're going to do is exactly the same. Charge the grenade. And then Nova. And the Nova should do big damage to him. And it should help us take out a few ads. But it didn't. It should have, but it didn't. So... What you've got to watch out for, here we we got our killing tally, which is why we've done it. We've done the killing tally because we got taken so quickly we didn't have another grenade. So that's why you get the killing tally there. I knew I had heavy ammo up there. Disappointed in myself that I actually reloaded and never got killing tally, never kept the killing tally on and just got the 200 rounds, but it, it worked out okay. Now, learn from my mistake. I've now got myself into a position where now I could get surrounded by Ark. Fortunately, I managed to get out of it. But that's, it may look sometimes as if I'm just running for no reason. But that's kind of why, because he, he's obviously going to throw it in your last position. And you could end up getting surrounded by Ark the way I did there. But fortunately, killing Tally, we never had a lot of health, finished them off. And as you can see, we only we only done it with like a hundred and three, a hundred and just about a hundred and four thousand. Nineteen minute run. It's not a really long run, but it is what it is. It's all time. 
you've got to be quick getting through this strike, and that's why I was a little bit more aggressive because we only had the three the three score multiplier. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I always appreciate your viewership. One hundred percent. Check out the videos that are coming out this week. I think you might enjoy them. I hope you do. If you guys are still happy to see a high score and maybe a normal nightfall each week, leave me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Thanks for the viewership, guys. Always appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.